subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hi friends today we are going to talk about the impact of corona virus uh, in some of the tribal areas of the country or in other words what we can learn from the tribals of india when it comes to fighting corona virus or uh, preventing the onset of uh, covid-19 Uh, now while the rest of the country has been reeling under the onslaught of this uh, disease in fact uh, most of the densely populated urban areas uh, have been affected by this disease the most uh, whereas in the tribal areas uh, a survey was conducted by uh, an organization called society for empowerment which works in the field of tribal areas it has been there for the last two decades and uh, the survey team was headed by a member of uh, the nomadic commission of india professor s narayan uh, who is also the chairman of society for empowerment which conducted these surveys so uh, initially two surveys were conducted one was conducted in jharkhand the other survey was conducted in uh, chatisgarh now let's see some of the key findings of this survey the uh, date of this survey was up to 31st may 2020 uh, so uh, by that time you no know, almost uh, about two months Uh, more than two months of lockdown had happened, and uh, now let's see the uh, state of uh, uh, what was the status in the tribal areas of Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh. Both of the these states have substantial population of tribals, so that's why these two states were taken. Uh, the key finding of this report is that hardly any uh, tribal uh, uh, was affected. Tri- any tribal population was affected by COVID-19. Uh, which was locally living in that area if uh, there were any infections or uh, they were probably from people who had come from outside uh, after uh, uh, march 25th so uh, now why this happened that despite uh, you know, uh, living in very basic conditions as we presume uh, the tribal society was able to fight the uh, menace of corona virus much better the first thing is that they use traditional the survey has found out i am uh, i'll be i'll be based, whatever i'm sharing with you it's based on the finding of the survey so it says that uh, uh, the cultural practices help in tackling this disease in tribal areas as the basic maintenance of hygiene at home and workplace along with social distancing is key in the fight which these societies maintain Uh, the washing of hands by tribals uh, with the hearth ashes opening of shoes outside the door sitting in groups with sizable distance eating daily cooked foods washing clothes daily etc habits or tenets that are imbibed in the uh, tribal culture uh, so one is that and then you know uh, apart from that you know they are living very close to nature and they eat what they grow they generally cook food themselves and eat simple food their dress is also very simple the males generally wear a dhoti uh, made by the members of the tribal groups themselves and the women generally wear a sari the clothes are washed each day by ashes of the hearth most of the traditional dances songs are played in such a way that uh, social distance is maintained without any extra effort it is followed traditionally in a routine manner so the survey says that uh, while the government was trying to you no know, create awareness about social distancing and uh, in many areas people were finding it difficult to observe it especially in the urban areas so in tribal areas the social distancing has always been practiced it has been part of their life now there is a uh, and interesting thing is that uh, there is a traditional uh, tribal institution known as uh, dumkaria in jharkhand where the children after the age of 5 and up to the age of ad- attaining adolescent learns about their traditions and learn about the traditions and their cultures so generations after generations these uh, norms of uh, hygiene social distance so they are followed because they are passed on by the previous generation to the next generation uh, through a social institution called uh, dhumkuria Uh, it is also known as pelarpa so similar social institutions are there in almost all the tribal uh, societies uh, there is another uh, uh, interesting uh, finding of the survey that the traditional uh, herbs or the medicines which 
they have been used in tribal areas through the local produce through the forest produce so they have proved to be very effective in terms of boosting the immunity of uh, the tribals and that is also considered to be one of the key reasons that they have been able to fight the menace of uh, COVID-19. Uh, I'll just uh, give you a couple of examples uh, which uh, the survey has uh, uh, pointed out. Uh, there is in Chhattisgarh, you have uh, as in the Bastar area especially, you have a paste made from red ants and it's called Chakra. It increases the body immunity and similarly there is another traditional uh, drink uh, it's called kala we also have heard a lot about it uh, in the urban areas but in the tribal areas the kala is prepared uh, it's a it's a thick soup kind of a thing it is prepared in water by boiling water and they sip it like uh, tea for two to three days uh, in the mornings and in the evenings a couple of times two or three times a day and this really boosts their immunity now uh, this kala uh, has you know traditional herbs and tribal kala it has traditional herbs and medicines like this arjun tree bark then leaf of bakas uh, long leaf of um, uh, guava uh, you have giloy talchini choti laichi tulsi patta tulsi patta siege patta uh, then gourd and lemongrass and apart from that also there are a couple of other uh, um, ingredients and these ingredients largely remain the same but some ingredients are added or omitted according to the availability of these ingredients in the uh, local forests mind you they are not uh, uh, getting uh, most of these ingredients from uh, outside they are produced locally and most of them are produced uh, organically so uh, that is another uh, thing and uh, the tribal uh, in tribal areas uh, they did some wonderful experiments for example as soon as the government introduced the lockdown and uh, started emphasizing the need for uh, um, uh, what you call social distancing but uh, in tribal areas the people uh, took the initiative they made white circles at the hand pumps and solar pumps from where uh, they collect the water and they made masks with leaves so which proved to be very effective and uh, there is another interesting thing that once you dispose of these masks so there is no problem in terms of uh, handling this disposal i think in days to come we are going to face a huge problem in terms of uh, how to handle these masks which are being disposed of because many of them are uh, prepared from the non-biodegradable material whereas the leaves which were prepared from masks are absolutely biodegradable uh, according to this survey, the traditional health source of herbal medicine is a great health immunity to the tribals. The seasonal viral, bacterial, fungal and nutrient deficiency is nat natively tackled by the local um, uh, health practitioners. They are known as Bagas or uh, Vaidyas uh, in the tribal areas. The uh, traditional Hindi term for them is Vaidya and uh, in some of the tribal areas they are known as Bagas. Uh, the acceptance of the service is that the acceptance of herbopathy and naturopathy should be promoted outside the tribal world also. So, uh, in nutshell, the cultural values, lifestyle, worldview and ethos of uh, the tribal society of India did not allow them to have fierce psychosis uh, from Corona uh, or uh, COVID-19. However, uh, the survey points out a very important fact that still counseling is required uh, to sustain the mental health of the tribals and also because of the lockdown their weekly hearts uh, weekly markets farmer markets what you call uh, were not able to take place so they have been hit financially uh, very badly so that also needs to be taken care of and another important thing is that uh, while in the urban areas you have facilities of online uh, internet facility and uh, you have uh, very good bandwidth uh, in terms of the broadband availability and uh, Wi-Fi availability but in the tribal areas uh, many, most of them are in remote parts of the country so the internet availability might be there but the speed and the bandwidth are, are an issue so the schools in tribal areas uh, have not been able to function properly uh, unlike the schools in urban areas which are conducting uh, uh, classes online 
most of the rural areas also the um, the the schools have been able to conduct classes online and colleges also but in tribal areas the educational institutions are facing a major challenge so overall this is the picture which we get from these two surveys in uh, the tribal uh, areas of the country i'm sure there can be lot of lessons which can be learned from them and whatever help is required we need to uh, provide that help uh, to these tribal uh, uh, brothers and sisters of ours as soon as possible thank you